besides, why would anyone want to hurt me? It was only your imagination, dear. Did you say you have some tea? Yes, it's my special slippery under birch bark tea with a touch of raspberry leaves. Guaranteed to calm your nerves. Very soothing. <laughs> <laughs> then I think you're the one who should be drinking it. Since, oh, no, ma'am, I couldn't do that. I work for you, remember? You just hired me yesterday. Sit! Now drink. But if that doesn't work, maybe not nice with a cob of oil. Maybe a sip. Well, now please. Some of our guests here at the boarding house are a little eccentric. You're just going to have to learn to live with that. And I want you to pay no attention to the rumors you may have heard about my home. This house is haunted. Much. <coughs> there are no dead bodies buried under the floors. That's a hell <laughs> um, there is almost definitely no buried treasure under the basement guarded by the crazed murderer of the spirit world of the Vegas. And the death? Yes. There was a that there? Yes, ma'am. Now you just sit there and relax. I can have my favorite sort of running around off Lester. Now look, you said this was bird spark and raspberry leaves? Do you throw them out just like that? Well, of course. I'd absolutely know this for that. 
much better. You want it to get worse? Well, of course! Having the sniffles is such a common thing to me. Now, if only she could have a good case of the old dog, too. Make another sniff. Or double pneumonia. Or maybe look at once. Oh, we work 
quiet here. Be very quiet. Artist. <laughs> because this artist is just lying about. 
so exhausting. Jeff, I think I feel no spirit on this. Was there anyone else you'd like to contact? Quick, take her out of here. Take her someplace you question her. Me? Hello. That. Drunk roast, 
spare ribs, probably even wrath of man. <laughs> the jelly I love was jelly. Doctor, you've got to believe me. Oh, I do, I do, I do. No, you just relax and tell me all about it. Oh, hello, Dr. Snyder. I thought I heard someone in here. Oh, Mr. Richards hasn't done that job. I'm just leaving. Hello. Do I know you? Of course, remember? Oh, yes, I remember. I'm a little toe. What did I describe? She asked him. And that was excellent advice. My pores are much healthier now. <laughs> I had a headache and I felt for over two months. Fantastic. Sometimes I'm amazing. I haven't practiced medicine in 20 years, you know. Don't know why I keep making a house call. Were you the one that called me? No, that was Martha. She has leprosy or something now. And would like your advice. Leprosy. Very complex disease. Very difficult to treat. Has no fall? Not that I can notice, but I've been very busy lately. Well, that case never take two hours for you call me in the morning. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to be getting back to the office. Busy, busy, busy. But you were tired. I know that. You know that. To all the crazies you keep calling me. Investigate. Investigate 
the mysteries of life. Call it what you want. As long as the first thing you investigate is that soft with the window on the window. Your wish is my command. Just don't discuss anything interesting when I'm gone. Now, Doctor, when this Gladys gets here, I'm going to hypnotize the both of Between your buried memories and her ability to contact the dead, I think we may have some very interesting results. You know how to hypnotize people? Of course. I read the entire book on the <laughs> Have you ever done any experiments with hypnotizing the and that sort of thing? Never heard about it, of course, but I'm not really sure if that brain stuff really works. Excellent. I like an empty mind.
take your medication again. <laughs> no! You are not going to put me in a home again. Do you know what they do in those places? I love it. Then we give you pills that all you do is sleep. <laughs> I don't want to sleep. I want to find my treasure. I know you do, Dirk, and so do I. We just have to be patient. <laughs> Tweety, is it all you do down here? Make tea? Yes, ma'am. I'm not much good at making anything else. I make this tea from pumpkin leaves and huckleberry balls. Your tea is. Dirk! Now, tell me, Tweety, could you find something a bit stronger to drink? Yes, ma'am. I think it is. I think I have to find some coffee. <laughs> Some coffee. Some nice, strong coffee. Sweet potato coffee with the best of that right? And maybe some cinnamon coffee. Would you like some tea, Dirk? I suppose so. Anything to help me think. Sometimes tea does have a calming effect. I'm sure this will help you. I have nothing to report. Then don't report it. <laughs> don't drink that tea. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I can get some sleep. Well, we tried that one, too, remember? She took a spoon and tried to escape by digging a tunnel to China. Did she make it? <coughs> How else? I'd better go and find her. I swear that girl ran down with skin and bone. I think I'll help her go dig her tunnel. She seems like a nice lady. No, Mr. Richards. Your duties do not include digging tunnels. This sounds like fun. I'll just use a big spoon. Oh, 
Vibe's turn to get to the podium. I, too. And I'm running up with the speed from Vibe Speed Leaf Project 3. 104, 105, and I have heart palpitations. Mine is going to explode. My cousin's nose fell off. <laughs> and now mine is getting loose. That's working, though. I was still mine back on yesterday. And the winner is... Running out. All day. 
Do you know any, any way to stop it? It's getting shorter every minute. Oh no. Oh no, not on me. I'm not going to die. Ever. No. I refuse. You can't make me. Dirk found the goal. He did? He did? I did. <laughs> well, almost. He found a board. And no did an old belt, too. I did. And next, the gold. So excited. Uh, Dirk, are you feeling all right? There's something I've been wanting to tell you. You know what the gold is in? No, no. This is something much <coughs> more important. Let's see. More important than gold. Diamonds, rubies, pearls? No, no, this is something personal. Jade, Emerald, Ivory? Will you stop thinking about money? No! Oh, Dirk, you are impossible! <coughs> Dirk! This might be a good time to tell her how you feel. It would? Okay. Martha, I feel hungry. Oh, 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 Dirk! Oh, Dirk! You're aggravating my allergies. You're getting me. Science trouble. Oh, you poor dear. I really think those two were meant for each other. I think I might have an ear infection, too. Oh, no! Your bone made me sick to my stomach! <laughs> you wouldn't understand. You're healthy. My sister has never understood me. You can be wife number one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
thank you, and you can be wife number two. That's nice. You can share them. I'll be wife number one on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You can be wife number one on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. What about Sunday? He can just look after himself. <laughs> it's nice when friends learn how to share. I wonder if they told him about all this. Oh, have you seen? I know. She just left. She's a married woman now, you know. Married? But she's... I know, and you better hurry. At this rate, her children are going to be heading off to college soon. Her children? <laughs> college? Where does the time go? <laughs> the time? It just goes... I'm back again! <laughs> I am tired of sick people! Try this. 
Goodness, what are you 